Children are a miracle. We think of a child as a picture of innocence and sweetness. Unfortunately, there are times when the unthinkable happens, when it's more than a child going through the terrible twos, as parents like to say, or being rebellious teenagers. Sometimes a child is purely evil. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at the top 10 most evil kids in history. Yeah, you heard it right. Number 10, Michael Carniel. In December of 1997, Michael Carniel went to school with a loaded shotgun and rifle. He wrapped the guns in a blanket, passing them off as a school art project. He then proceeded to shoot eight people. Three girls died, while five others were seriously wounded. When he finished, he dropped the gun and surrender, exclaiming, Please kill me, I can't believe I did that. Number 9. Nathaniel Brazil A young teen in the sunny and beautiful state of Florida, Nathaniel Brazil at the time was 13 years old and an honor roll student. The last day of school in 2006, Nathaniel Brazil entered his school and shot his favorite teacher, Barry Gunrow, in the head. Nathaniel Brazil turned 14 by the time his trial took place. He received 28 years in state prison for his heinous crime. Number 8. Michael Hernandez In 2004, Michael Hernandez was then 14 years old. He killed his fellow classmate, Jamie Rodrigo Goff. The incident once again took place in the state of Florida. The murder was committed in the boys' school bathroom. The 14-year-old boys were friends. Goff accompanied Hernandez to the bathroom where Hernandez claimed he wanted to show him something. Michael Hernandez took Jamie Goff in the bathroom stall. There, he proceeded to stab him several times and slice his throat. Number 7. Wooly Boskett Will Boskett, who was born in December of 1962, forever changed the New York juvenile crime laws. It led to minors as young as 13, being able to be tried as an adult, and suffer the same consequences as an adult depending on the nature of the committed crime. At the age of 15 years old, Willie Boskett shot and killed a man during a robbery attempt in New York City. A week later, he did the same thing. Willie was convicted of both murders, but due to the juvenile laws, served only five years in prison. Number 6. Alex King and Derek King This horrific event took place in Florida a week after Thanksgiving of 2001. 12-year-old Alex King and his brother, 13-year-old Derek King, beat their father to death with a baseball bat while he was sleeping. They continued on to set their home on fire in a failed attempt to destroy the crime scene and evidence. Both Alex and Derek confessed to the murder of their father, Terry King. Although there is more, the boys went on to say that another person was involved. That person was Ricky Chavez, a 41-year-old convicted child molester. They said that Ricky Chavez had a sexual relationship with Alex, which he did not want. Ricky talked the boys into murdering their father. Alex and Derek ultimately received 7 and 8 years in prison for third-degree murder and arson. Number 5. Joshua Phillips Joshua Phillips was 14 years old when he bludgeoned his neighbor to death, hiding her underneath his bed. She was only 8 years old. The sad event took place in 1998. Several days after the initial incident, Joshua's mother noticed something leaking from under his bed. To her surprise, the missing neighbor girl was what she found. Joshua Phillips claimed it was an accident, and he panicked and hid her under his bed. Phillips failed to convince the jury of this. Joshua Phillips received a life sentence for this gruesome murder. His mother is appealing it, being that he was only a child at the time of the murder. Number 4. Jasmine Richardson Jasmine Richardson, at 12 years old, is the youngest person in Canada to ever be convicted of multiple murders. Surely her parents taught her better. That achievement is nothing to be proud of. The thing is, her parents were two of her victims, along with her younger brother. The family's bodies were found on April 23, 2006. When Jasmine was nowhere to be found, police and citizens were frantic that Jasmine had also been murdered. Fortunately, she was found alive and well with her boyfriend. Jasmine's parents did not approve of her boyfriend, who was 23. What parent would approve of a 23-year-old dating a 12-year-old child? Her boyfriend was also charged with the murders of their family. Number 3. Robert Thompson and John Venables Robert Thompson and John Venables were two 10-year-old boys who were evil. They committed a senseless act of murder to a helpless, defenseless toddler. In 1992, they murdered 2-year-old James Bulger. At the mall, Robert Thompson and John Venables were on a free shopping spree, stealing items from random stores. They decided to steal a two-year-old boy, James Bulger. There's no reason why. Maybe just to see if they could. The thing is, once they had him, they had no idea what to do with him. What did they do to kill James Bulger? Only Robert and John know the real answer to that. Number 2. Jesse Pomeroy Jesse Pomeroy is nicknamed the Boston Boy Fiend. In 1874, 14-year-old Pomeroy was convicted of the brutal death of a 4-year-old little boy. What makes it even worse is that it wasn't even the beginning of all the horrific crimes that this boy had committed. Three years prior to this incident is when the boy tortures began. Jesse Pomeroy was tried and convicted of sexual torturing several boys. For these unbelievable crimes, Jesse was sentenced to a boy's reform school and got early release. A short time after Jesse Pomeroy's release from the reform school, he got his next victim. A 10-year-old girl came into his mother's store. He got the chance and kidnapped the girl. He mutilated and killed her, finally burying her in his mother's basement. 
Number 1. Mary Bell Little girls are supposed to be sweet and cute, playing with dolls and having a tea party with their stuffed animals. Not Mary Bell and her friend. Norma Bell, the girls are not related. Mary Bell was convicted of strangling her first victim, Martin Brown, on May 25, 1968. Mary did this cruel act the day before her 11th birthday. Mary Bell is the mastermind behind the death of another boy. Mary and her friend Norma, together, killed a 3-year-old boy, Brian Howe. The sad incident took place on July 31, 1968. Brian Howe was murdered by strangulation. After the murder took place, Mary Bell went back to the scene of the crime to carve an N on the stomach of a deceased boy with a razor. Using the same razor, she later changed the N to an M. Mary even used scissors to cut some of the boy's hair and parts of his genitals. And that's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section down below. I hope that you found this video interesting, and if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the following video with some more of the latest updates, and until then, stay tuned!